actually I had a, a an illness that I was trying to get over. I had celiac brew, and uh, it, it after being gluten free for a year and a half, I still had the symptoms. I had severe symptoms, and I needed to find a relief. I needed to be able to be able to get out of my house and not be a prisoner in my own home. So I luckily woke up one morning, was having my coffee, and I saw Dr. Kelly Ann on Fox News, and she was talking about inflammation, and I just, it, it just drove, drove it home to me. This is what I need. I need this plan that she's got. To be honest with you, I had gone to my gastroenterologist, is that what you call him? Yes. And, and he told me he couldn't understand it because I had been had to take B shots and D3 shots. I was low on calcium and my fingernails quit growing and he couldn't figure it out. He said, you're gaining weight, but you're not responding to the celiac diet, the gluten-free diet, and this doesn't make sense. He says, I almost would say you have refractory celiac. And I looked up refractory celiac. And it said, when you're diagnosed with refractory celiac, your lifespan is from two to four years. Hmm. And then I wasn't so happy. <laughs> right. Now, so after now, 30 days. After 30 days. Well, actually, after only four days on the, on the diet, my diarrhea stopped. I hate to talk about that, but <laughs> that's one of the bad symptoms. It, right. It's terrible. I mean, you can't leave the house for days at a time because of it. And three days, and it stopped. I'm a month now with no diarrhea, no cramps and pain, and you're hurting all the time. And when I started this, I decided I'm supposed to be getting rid of everything. I'm not taking any drugs except for my thyroid medication that I need. And I thought, I'll just see how many days it takes and see if something happens. The first week, I started falling asleep on my own. I'd wake up again and then fall back asleep and wake up and fall back asleep. But that was an accomplishment. If that was the only thing I got, I would have been happy. <laughs> By the third weekend, I'm falling asleep and, and sleeping six hours straight. I'm telling you, I feel like a new woman. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like a teenager. <laughs> I'm not 66, I'm 16. I have so much excitement in me. And the 30th day, I went to bed with no, no pills, slept eight and a half hours, and woke up, and my husband's laughing at me because I'm saying, do you believe it? I slept sound for eight hours straight. To me, it was a miracle. Sounds yeah. great. I mean, I can't wait. It's, it's wonderful. It's like, a, for me, it's a miracle. It's saving my life.